I had never thought about being an astronaut because it just wasn't possible for people in Britain to go into space until I heard an advert and it described something that I had never dreamt of before and I knew I wanted to do it. I knew that at the end of 18 months of training, I may get to go into space, but it was only May because I was actually training with somebody else from the UK. Only one of us would fly and the other one would remain on the ground as backup. And even on the day of the launch, if I had become injured or caught a cold, I wouldn't have flown. To start with during the launch, it, um, all we can see is what's inside the spacecraft because there's a fairing that covers the whole of the rocket on the outside, protects us from the atmosphere as we're going through it. Once we're about 150 or so kilometres high, um, the fairing is jettisoned and suddenly light streams in through the window. And I remember looking out, we were over the Pacific Ocean, I could see the blue down below and the black of space. And then suddenly you're floating, or rather you would be if you weren't strapped into your seats. Um, we go through checks and then we can release ourselves from the seats. And, um, and all of the training, all of the hard work, that's when it all starts to suddenly pay off because we can just get on with really all of the, the stuff that we've been wanting to do for so long. All organisms explore in some way. We're always pushing forward the boundaries and humans have always done that. Um, we've always just wanted to find out that little bit more. Exploring means that we find out more, we're able to push forward the boundaries and whether that's so physical or whether it's intellectual, we've always wanted to do that and it, it's joyful. In the end, I've grown and I've understood much more about my place in the earth and how I relate to everything else as well.